Hey guys, welcome back to Vertice Models. Today we'll be painting the Armiger Helverins. So these pieces that I'm picking up now will be basing with plate mill. And then I'll leave all the uh, armor pieces separate. That way I can paint them with the airbrush individually without getting overspray. So the first color we're using is pure red. And we're going to be putting the fade on his his armor plates on the Helbrins. And I'll start from like the center, aim aim down the center of his uh his body piece there. Getting more opaque as I get towards the top. I forget what the I think the color scheme for these were uh, the House of Volker. It's like a red and gray with metal color scheme. And for the uh, shoulder pads. I paint half of them red and then half of them uh, gray and you can mask it off if you want but I just held one side covered one side with my finger and we're just fading the red from the top of the shoulder pad down So after we've got all them pieces done, we're going back with a highlight color and we'll be using a uh, lava orange. And we're doing the same thing except for we're fading it on top of the pure red. So from the top down, but we don't want to overtake our previous layer. I uh, think I'm I'm painting actually four four of these at once, but I'm I'm just filming the process on one. Yeah. If you're wondering why I got so much paint in the pot. <laughs> so after that, we're going to be spraying the metallics. And I use a uh, plate metal or plate metal metal, and I'm just running this through my airbrush, basing, you know, the chassis of the Armager, the uh, both his gun arms. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Just making sure we get it full coverage on these parts. So after that, we're we'll gonna be going back with the, on the shoulder pads using uniform gray. And this time I'll be, you know, covering the red part that I uh, faded on, and we'll be doing the same thing on the other side of the pad.
So after that, we'll be going back with Ash Gray, which is a lighter gray. And we'll be doing the same thing we did with Lava Orange on the red. We'll just be hitting it from the top, fading it from the top. So these are all our parts based. And now we'll assemble them. So after we got them together, we'll be going back with plate mail and trimming out the armor pieces. Yeah, each one of his pads has um, the silver trim. This is what he's looking like after that. And next we'll be using greedy greedy gold and we're doing the frame around the window on his back there uh, the trim around the exhaust on the very back of his uh, top plate So after that we'll be going and painting the uh, the little square cut out on the front of his face there and painting the, uh, the window on his back with the uh, mummy robes. This is just to help uh, help us lay down our next color which is going to be a yellow which wouldn't show up that good if it was on the red. So the uh, the white color helps helps our uh, yellow show through. After that, we'll be doing a Rush Streaks wash by Vallejo, and we're thinning it down to a, uh, a to to a wash, and then we're going to be applying it over the whole model using a, a blend of one-to-one -one mineral spirits with the Rush Streaks. And we're just wanting to get full coverage on the whole model. Yeah, 
and using a Q-tip and 100% mineral spirits, we can start wiping away the rust streaks on the top facings of his armor pieces. And you can see how it's bringing that color back. The purpose in doing this is, you know, the it's exactly like you would want a wash to be in the uh, cracks and crevices of your model. But it, not only that, it, it dirties them up a bit. And uh, I really like the look that the grime gives them. And when the red shows through, you know, once you get it, most of it wiped away off the surface, it looks really good. And then we're going back with uh, mummy robes and painting uh, his his lens part on his face. Uh, same same principle as the way we did the yellow. His eyes are going to be glowing green. So I'm going and basing it white first. And then edge highlighting some pieces around his lens. That way it, it emits a glow illusion when I spray the, uh, the highlight color on. So we're using the uh, jungle green. Now it's going to be hitting the uh, lens from the front on his face. Just test spraying it, make sure I got no uh, splatter coming through. And I'm just pumping it, you know, a little bit at a time because I don't want to hit it with a, a pure opaque green. I want that white to show through too. And then the, uh, the next step after that, it was the same way I did the orcs, you know. I'm going back and breaking up, you know, his armor from his uh, skeleton, basically. I'm just using uh, just black paint, just spraying it in spots where I think it would uh, be the most grimy. And to break up the model. Where I think grease and stuff would settle, you know. And after that, this is what they're looking like with the green glow. And then we're gonna go back with a uh, plate mail, and we're just gonna be dry brushing, you know, all those metal pieces. This will help blend in uh, the black airbrush we just did over top of the metal. That dulls it down a little bit, but after the edge highlight with dry brushing, it helps blend everything back together. So after the dry brush, we're going back on the eyes after they've dried and doing the uh, green tone wash. Just letting it sink around the uh, bottom half of the uh, lens. And then using uh, mummy robes to white dot the eyes. So a step before this, uh, before this right here, 
What I'm using now is just a, uh, a glaze over the eyes by uh, Vallejo. I think it's called Still Water. And I'm just using it to make the eyes reflective. But before that, I used a uh, matte varnish by Vallejo and just sprayed the uh, the whole model. And it and it really makes it look uh, makes it look you know like it has a a perfect matte finish. And it makes the colors more vibrant after it dries. But I'm just adding a reflection to the uh, lenses here. And that's basically it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope I'm at least inspiring or providing insight for people painting their own miniatures. Whether it be painting schemes or painting methods. Um, I hope I'm helping y'all out. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Psst.